Hello, children. Hello, children. Hello, children. How are you? Okay. So, you should have watched already this week and taken notes on the parts of speech for my Google Slides. You should have watched the author's purpose Google Slides that I created and taken notes on that. Today, for Wednesday, the... This would be the 16th. It's my best friend's birthday. Yesterday was my grandpa's birthday. Um, the 15th was his, was my grandpa's birthday. Sorry, squirrel moments. Um, you're going to do an author purpose worksheet. Now, I'm going to help you with the first answer. So this is a 20 out of 20 worksheet. One point for what author's purpose it is. Another point for explaining your answer. And so everyone should get two out of 20 because I'm going to do the first one with you. So obviously, put your name up here. It's not Tobe, it's Tig. Um, you're doing it in the right spot. I should be able to see it, but still put in whatever hour you're in. I'm in 15th hour because 15 is my favorite number, so don't judge me. Read the descriptions of each item and determine the author's main purpose, to entertain, to persuade, to inform. Then, in a sentence or two, explain your answer. No answer will have two answers. So, number one, a story about a family trying to stick together and survive through the Great Depression in the Midwest in the 1930s. Well, we know that the Great Depression is a historical account of something that happened in this country. So it's quite possibly that it could be to inform, but because it's a story, it's to entertain. And then it says, write a sentence or two. I'm just going to put, it is a story about Great Depression. I know that's extremely small. So when you do it, take and make your font 18 for this. It's a little easier to see. This is 12. This is fine. Make the explain your answer box of 18 font. Leave it as Times New Roman, please. Thank you. So there's your answer for number one. Again, this is a 20-point assignment. One point for, did you get the correct author's purpose? One point for, did you explain your answer correctly? Let me help you with um, number four. Number four looks like it could be two answers. It's only one because of argues. The word is argues. And again, if you watch my videos, you understand that argue deals with this author purpose. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please uh, message me on Squillology. Thank you very much. And have a good day.